Welcome back to our YouTube channel in this video. We want to find the value of k such that k is a member of renumber. So let's have it to be solution. So from here, we have k to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6. Then first of all, let us recall from the law of indices that when we have a to the power of m that equals b to the power of m, we say, so far they have the same power with different base, we have a to be equals b. So therefore, we can declare from this side that k equals 2. But k equals 2 from this side, from here, is not the only solution to this problem. Because this k has the power 6, meaning that we are expecting the 6 possible solutions for this problem. So let's see how to get other solution from the above. Now, we have k to the power of 6 equals 2 to the power of 6. We can have 6 as 2 times 3. So from here we have k to the power of 2 times 3 equals 2 to the power of 2 times 3. 2 times 3 will give us 6. Then also, when we have a to the power of m times n, we can have this as a to the power of n in parentheses as this to the power of m also equals a to the power of m in parentheses to the power of n. So applying it here, we can have this as k to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2. Then we have k to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus taking this one here with 2 to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2. Definitely nothing here again, and this will be equals 0. So we have k to the power of 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 will be 8 to the power of 2 equals 0. Then when we have a square minus b square. We call this difference of two square, and this can be simplified as open parenthesis a minus b times close parenthesis a plus b. So from the above here, we have our a from this side to be k to the power of 3, then our b equals 8. Then when we substitute it here, we are going to have k to the power of 3 minus 8 times k to the power of 3 plus 8 equals 0. Then from here, anytime we have a times b, we say equals 0 as this. What we are saying here is that is either we have a equals 0 for this expression to be equal 0 or we have b to be equal 0. Either of these parameters must be equal to 0. So if you are to go with k to the power of 3 minus, minus 8 equals 0, we are going to take this as case 1. We have k to the power of 3 minus 8 equals 0. We have case 2. k to the power of 3 plus 8 equals 0. So now let's go with case 1. You can have this as k to the power of 3 minus 8. And 8, we can have our 8 in base 2 as 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Then, once again, 
let us note that when we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, from difference of two keep, this equals as when we have a minus b in parentheses times a squared plus ab plus b squared, what we have here. And so making the comparison, we have a to be equals k and b to be equals 2. So when we substitute everything, we are going to have this guy here as k minus 2 times from here k square plus a is k, b is 2. So we have it to be 2k plus 2 square. We say everything equals 0 from here. We have k minus 2 times k square plus 2k plus 4 equals 0. So we have from here k minus 2 equals 0 or we have k square plus 2k plus 4 equals 0. We have k equals 2. Then from here, we can get the positive value of k by make use of the quadratic formula where we are going to define the parameter a as the coefficient of k squared, which is 1, parameter b as the coefficient of k, which is 2, and c is going to be 4. So we can now record that k can be written as minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So from here, so from here, we are going to have k, uh, b is 2, here will be minus 2, positive or negative, here will be 4, minus times a times this will be 16, over 2 times a, which is 1. We have k, minus 2, positive or negative, this will be minus 12 over 2. We have k minus 2 positive or negative square root of 2, 12 times square root of minus 1 over 2. So we have k minus 2 positive or negative 2 root 3 i over 2. Then we have k. Here we this divide by this minus 2 over 2. Positive or negative 2 times root 3i over 2. We have k minus 1. Positive or negative root 3i. So from this side, this is a complex solution. And we are looking for the real solution. So we didn't want this answer. So let's go with case 2. We have k to the power of 3 plus 8 equals 0. k to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Then when we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 equals a plus b, in parentheses times a square minus a b plus b square. So from here we have a to be equals k, then b to be equals 2. So we are going to have k plus 2 times k square minus 2k plus 4. Then we have from here k plus 2 equals 0. Or we have k square minus 2k plus 4 equals 0. So from here we have k equals minus 2. Now we have from here to k to be minus b will be 2 positive or negative root of 2 
sorry, 4 minus 12 minus 16. Over 2 times 1 is 2. We have k, 2, positive or negative, minus 12 over 2. And this will be 2, positive or negative, 2 multiplied by root 3i over 2. So this is a complex solution and we don't want this. So finally, by considering the real solution, so we have k to be equals 2 comma minus 2. So the remember of what? Real solution.